Hi, friends. I'm Lori Palau, host of the popular weekly podcast, This Organized Life, founder of Simply Be Organized, and author of the book, Hot Mess, A Practical Guide to Getting Organized. For the past seven years, we've been sharing stories, interviews, and strategies to help you live a more organized life. Whether you're struggling with physical clutter, calendar clutter, digital clutter, or just overwhelmed with the mental load of all the things, we're here to help you every step of the way. We know that one of the biggest struggles many of us face is time, and even finding the time to listen to a 45-minute long episode might not even be doable, which is why we've created this Organized Life Tip of the Week. These short episodes are designed to give you a little boost to start your week off on the right foot in under 15 minutes. This might be something that I'm doing in my personal life that I wanted to share, a tip that someone shared with me that I want to pass along to you, or maybe it might just be a prompt or story to help you think differently about the true meaning of clutter. New episodes of our tip of the week are automatically going to show up in your podcast feed on Mondays, and our regular long form episodes will continue to drop each and every Thursday. Now, if you're new here, make sure to click the subscribe or follow button for instant access to all of our 300 plus past episodes. And if you're already subscribed to TOL, there's nothing that you need to do. Our bonus episodes should already be in your feed. Regardless of whether you've just found us or you're one of our OG listeners, I am so happy that you're here. Now, let's get to it. Hi, everybody, and welcome to today's tip of the week. I am your host, Lori Palau, and I hope that you're doing well. If you're listening to this in real time, we are in the midst of summer here in the U.S., and it is scorcher hot in Pennsylvania. So um, I hope wherever you are and you're listening to this or watching this, you are cool and relaxed. and um, just hopefully taking some time to maybe take it down a notch because um, I know that we're all working really hard to do the things, especially the hard things. And if you're listening to this, um, well, you're looking for some additional inspiration, we're able to provide that for you. So I'm going to get right into it. And sometimes we do these kind of like more strategic, big picture idea concepts. And sometimes our tip, my tips of the week are really just like small, granular, and tactical. And that's what today's is. And today's tip of the week is something that is super kind of like plain Jane fundamental, but it's tried and true and it works. And that is to remove one item a day. Practice removing one item of something that you don't want, need, or use or love from your home every single day. And I know this is kind of, again, in not an original exercise. It's nothing that I created. It's something that people have been doing for years. But especially if you are somebody that is struggling with emotional clutter. Again, we talk here about three main types of clutter, your physical clutter, which is all the stuff that you see, your emotional clutter, which has to come from guilt and fear, and then your calendar clutter, which comes from being overscheduled. And so I think that removing one item a day really checks the boxes on all three of those, physical, calendar, and emotional clutter. And let me tell you why. Well, obviously, even if it's in small little micro doses of one item, removing something is getting that much closer to removing the physical clutter that is holding you back. So I don't care what space you're starting in. I would, you know, it could be, Something like I'm going in my drawer and I'm removing like, you know, an old dried up pen. I don't know. Um, or maybe you want to do like a category of your dried up pens, you know, if that's not too hard. Or maybe you're just like, hey, I don't wear these shoes anymore. Let me just, you know, donate these. Or if they're shot, let me get rid of them. Whatever it is. Removing that removes the physical element to help you reduce your physical clutter. If you're somebody that struggles with emotional clutter, Every little tiny step that you take helps to build that muscle of it's okay to get rid of things. So I think that's really, really important. And again, for people that it's not that hard, this may seem really elementary, but I want to dial it back because again, not everybody is coming at decluttering an organization at the same spot. Some people are just starting out. And some people have already run a marathon. And so they just need some little tips. But if you are somebody that struggles with emotional clutter, sometimes just finding the strength and the emotional bandwidth to get rid of one thing is big. 
So just start there, pick that one thing. And again, it could be expired food or an expired medicine. It doesn't even have to be anything major, but just start by getting in that habit of doing one thing a day. The other thing that does is that builds that intentionality and that practice of I'm doing something every single day. It doesn't take a lot of time, which leads me into the third type of clutter that it's helping to solve, which is calendar clutter. One of the biggest um, kind of pushbacks I get from people who, especially who are super busy, whether they're juggling careers, family, both, all the things is I don't have the time it takes to sit down and do like a deep dive declutter, or I don't have time it takes to sit and organize my entire fill in the blank. Well, if you're removing one item a day, it really should not take more than seconds, maybe a minute. And if you're struggling with emotional clutter, hopefully no, no more than a few minutes. Because again, we're starting with the low hanging fruit, the stuff that's really easy. We're not starting with things that have a lot of sentimental value. We're not starting with things that have a lot of financial value. We're starting with the easy things that we don't knew, that we don't use, that we don't wear, that we don't like particularly, I can't tell you how many things people have in their house and they're like, I don't even like this, but yet it's taking up space. And so again, if you are really, really short on time and you just don't have a lot of it to dedicate, just take a minute and work it in, work it in first thing in the morning, work it in, in the afternoon, whatever, whatever time of day works for you, just figure it out figure out how you can just do that. Maybe as you're taking out the trash, you're like, oh, what's my one item? And as a reminder, so that you don't forget, I would set this um, challenge as a recurring task. So again, I love doing this ongoing, but even if you do this as like a 30-day challenge, for 30 days, just set a reminder in your phone, like a calendar reminder. Every single day, I'm going to declutter one item. And you can choose some people like to document it. Other people are just like, okay, I'm just going to do it. And it just start building that muscle memory. And again, it is about building practice. It's about setting the tone for the life that you want to live. And I always tell people your clutter didn't accumulate overnight. You can't expect it to go away in the blink of an eye, but taking these small little incremental steps every single day adds up. It really does. So again, just to recap, my tip of the week is to remove one item from your house a day. And again, you can do this ongoing indefinitely, or at the very least, set a goal to do it for 30 days. And then let me know how you feel. Definitely want to love to see your progress. You can always tag us at this Organized Life podcast, or it simply be organized. We are checking both handles. Um, and let us know. Also, you can always write us in the comments. You can, in our review section, because we read those, let us know your progress. We totally want to see exactly what you guys are um, walking through so that we can walk alongside with you. All right. Until next week, I am Lori Plow, and I'll see you on Thursday for our regular long form episode and next week with our tip of the week. So until then, peace out.